welcome to another booktube video from me, Lauren from Lauren and the Books. And today, I'm joined by the heir of Slytherin. <laughs> Genuine heir of Slytherin. She's even got a Slytherin badge on oh, to, to prove it. My cousin Laura. And this is, the, I'm going to put this down because I'm going to be waving it around all excited. And this is the second. Do you feel like I'm really noticing you're than you and you're looking yeah. down So I just like... <laughs> Lean in, <laughs> frame me, your wonderful frame yourself. Um, and today I'm going to be doing the second in my series of book chats with me, with people I know in my actual real life. Laura, I know in my actual real life, we're cousins. Our mums are sisters. 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 Our mums are sisters. Sissies. I wonder if people think we look like each other, because I don't think we do, but then some people do say to me that we do. Well, one time when I put on a red wig, my mum said I look like you. <laughs> that is. That's lovely. <laughs> so once when we were in the cafe, one girl, I said, oh, uh, my cousin owns it. She was like, that's your cousin. You look exactly the same as her. I thought, don't talk shit. We don't look exactly no. the same. Speed image. Sure. Speed image of each other. <laughs> anyway, that's all interesting and exciting. But we've got four questions. This is going to work exactly the same way as the video I did, which I filmed with my sister. But this one's going to be better. Yeah. No, only joking, Charlotte. This one will be much, much worse. Um, and She's we're going to start. She, oh, everyone loves her hair. They kept writing underneath, oh, your sister's got such lovely hair. And I was thinking, she does have nice hair. She does there. have nice hair. She does. She's so photogenic. Tea break. It's Barry's tea. It's the best tea. So we're going to start with the first question, which is, and Laura might go on a bit later on about how much she's got a problem with these questions, but hey, at least she's being nice and polite on my channel. Um, what book reminds you of that person? I'll start with this, and this book, I've hidden them down here. This book reminds me of you. The Bees by Leyline Paul. Do you I know why this? That. Oh, did you? Yeah. So, Laura recommended The Bees by Leyline Paul for um, our, my online book club that I run. This was the second book that we talked about, and you recommended this. Um, also, no the colour... No, no one knows. <laughs> I didn't mind it. I didn't mind it, but I think I, I had really high hopes. I feel like it was a bit... I thought it was going to be a bit more anthropomorphised than it was. I didn't feel like there was much personality going on in there. They were, it was about bees. Okay. But do, I thought it was going to be more about like bees that had human traits and things. They have, kind of. Yeah, but I, I was expecting much more personality from the bees. Bee lols. Bee lols. <laughs> and this was not bee lols. Also, the colour yellow always reminds me of you. Is it your favourite colour? Yeah. Yeah. That's whenever, like, whenever I play a board game, I always use the yellow one because my hair's And that's why, I think that's, oh, is that why? I used to colour your hair with a yellow crayon when you yeah. were doing a picture of yourself. Yes. Lovely. And also, as if we need a third link, we both really love the bee filter on uh, Snapchat, which was, isn't there at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I was so trying to work out a way of us, like, being bees for this video. Well, it's not going to happen because there is no bee filter. No. They've taken it but away. Even if there was, it, we, we'd have to do it really short, like, <laughs> loads of times. <laughs> I miss that bee filter so much. It's so funny. The, the deer is okay. Thank you. And good eyeliner. Good eyeliner. But the bee... Have you tried the guinea pig? No. How do you feel about the guinea pig? I like it. It's, it's a bit annoying because as you're talking, you're eating a, a dandelion. <laughs> is it a voice changer? Yeah. <laughs> I won't waste my time <laughs> with things that aren't a voice changer. So this is the book I picked that reminded me of my cousin, Laura. Laura, what book reminds you of your cousin, Lauren? Well, cousin Lauren, I'm disappointing you because oh. I don't have the book. That's okay, here. I haven't got the book for the next, for the next question, so that's oh, fine. Oh, I'm sure I was sent a message to make sure. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 you weren't sent a message. Yeah, so what book is it? Well, I had, obviously, I said that everybody who does this was going to do Harry Potter. Yeah. And I was proven right with the first video. Yeah, and I was surprised that Charlotte did Harry Potter because I didn't think she would. I thought she would have used her brain a bit more. Lovely hair though. Lovely hair. <laughs> Very Hufflepuff. So I interpreted the question differently mm -hmm. and thought about what Ooh, like piece. book character reminded me of you. What a which lovely thing. I know. And then I struggled with that because then I was like, oh like Hermione, Matilda, and I was like, done that, done that. Yeah. So then I thought about an author mm -hmm. that reminded me of you. I'll get there in a minute. <laughs> so I thought about <laughs> Caitlin Moran. <laughs> How to be a woman. I do really like that book. Me I don't too. think I'm, I'm anywhere near. Well, do you have it here? Because I looked. No, I borrowed no. it off of Amy, Ryan's girlfriend. I'm just checking because it's a black spine. I don't, I'm almost certain I'm I borrowed it off of Amy. Now. Um, How to be a woman. Yeah, I like that book. And you think I remind you of her? Why? Because of loud and eyeliner. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I think you both have the same sort of ideals about life and feminism. I think you're right. I think you're right. She's I very do. loud. 
outspoken. And funny. And, I don't know, just, she's just lovely, like you. Like me. Um, I get on so well. But also, I reread a couple of pages this evening. Prep. Oh, because you've got it on your Kindle A. Yeah. And, uh, which I brought just to show off my lovely... That is Kindle lovely. Cover. And you've done so well not to sully that in any way. Oh. Um, anyway, she goes on about her 13th birthday, and one of the best things that... Uh, that her 13th birthday brought was the fact that she could get a teenage library card. And I thought... She is just like me. I? Oh, I've read all of those as well. Her most recent one, Manifesto. Mm. I listened to an audiobook to and from work. I cried a number of times, Laura, a number. One about... <laughs> one's about Anne and Dick. Oh dear. Did I tell you about it? Yes. <laughs> one's about Anne and Dick, one's about the Olympics, and one's about, oh my God, the one about the writer of Doctor Who whose husband um, had a brain tumour that they said only 3% of people survived from it and then they sort of like cut off talking about it and then continue to talk about Doctor Who and then at the end you find out that his husband survived this 3% brain tumour. Oh, oh, I was in bits I was. Oh. But yeah, oh that's a lovely comparison. You're welcome. Well done, Laura! <laughs> Let's have a bit of tea to celebrate. Mm. Now the next question, which Laura complains is a bit too similar, but I've already it's committed. I've already committed to two two of these videos now with the same question. So the question's there forever. Okay. And that is a book that reminds you of a memory of that person. Mm. So the book I have, which I don't have here with me, that reminds me of a memory of you. And I did ask David to to maybe pick me up something that would represent this, and that's Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> I need you get she's Winnie the Pooh. You, I just remember, like, when we used to visit your house, um, you had a Winnie the Pooh board game. Did you have a Winnie the Pooh bedroom? Mm, yes, maybe. The one that wasn't the ensuite bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that Laura's an ensuite. <laughs> Lady Laura was <laughs> <and> seven. <laughs> <laughs> Laura was <Burnham, seven. laughs> As a seven-year-old, I mean, the bee day is dirty. <laughs> <laughs> but, and also, they always used to say, oh, Laura's ensuite's so dirty. Oh. But what, a man? Yeah, and they'd say, oh, it's disgusting. Disgusting in there. Don't tell him that. She had, she trembled. <laughs> Nail varnish and eyeshadow into the carpet. <laughs> After you had a sleepover. I remember them telling me that. And I'd be like, well done. There's well done, worse Lord. things. Yeah. yeah. There's worse things that could have happened. You could have boys up there. Rude. Or did you have boys up there? They were doing the eyeshadow and the <laughs> nail varnish. Um, so yeah, you had, I remember you had a Winnie the Pooh board game. I did have lots of Winnie the Pooh books. And Winnie the Pooh books, Winnie the Pooh bedroom, and also I feel like I remember, you know like when you used to do the thing, the teddies, when we used to get like passed down stuff from cousins, like I don't want this old tat anymore, give it to Lauren and Charlotte. <laughs> I remember getting loads of Winnie the Pooh stuff from you. You're welcome. So, if, if anything, can I use this video as a, <laughs> a thank you for all the Where Winnie the Pooh now? tat? I've got nothing Winnie the Pooh in this whole house. David loves Disney. I even said, has your mum and dad got anything Winnie the Pooh? Nothing. Mm. So I've got nothing. I'll tell you what I have got. Some Winnie the Pooh pyjamas. <laughs> I should have worn them. I should have worn them. Oh, them. Oh, I should It's a long sleeve one. It's not, it's not, a, sum, not that it's a summer pyjama time now, but yeah. I should not have worn sexy those. enough for you, too. <laughs> hey! It's really like beige as well. It <laughs> not, might not even be Winnie the Pooh. It might be Eeyore. Oh, good story. I'm not a big fan of Winnie the Pooh myself. Oh, sorry. What, what did you like so much about him? And it. Um, As a franchise. I particularly liked Eeyore, if yeah. I'm honest. I liked his sort of morose... <laughs> yeah. I liked his morose sort of nature. And I also liked donkeys. As a kid. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah you maybe, do like donkeys. Maybe I like donkeys because of it. Anyway. Um, but yeah, I just liked them as a gang. They were a good gang. Oh, I just... Yeah. Had each other's backs. I just yeah. feel that they're a bit boring. Like out of all the Disney things you could go for, like Winnie the Pooh is low key on my, is low on my. What were you into? Pretty hardcore stuff. Like <laughs> you into Biker Miles from Mars. <laughs> Biker Miles from Mars. Well, you were bang into uh, Fantasia, weren't you? Fant well, you always say that, but I don't remember being. I remember having the DVD or the not the DVD, where the VHS. <laughs> I remember having that, but I don't remember being like bang into it. I remember actually. I think Charlotte was frightened of it, so I didn't get to watch it. Tell you what we were into, Hercules. I'm still into Hercules now. So under, like, it's not my fave. It is my fave and it's one of the best ones, but, well, for me anyway, okay. for me. Anyway, anyway, what reminds you of me? No, a memory. A book that reminds you of a memory of that person. Right, because the questions are quite similar, aren't they? <laughs> Mine is not 
bookish. It is a book, yeah. but the memories aren't bookish. Yeah, but then my memories won't be bookish. All right. Are you ready? Yeah, they're mainly of the uh, nail bodies in the carpet. Oh, oh <laughs> that's so... That's such a good one. Uh, and that is that my actual book? Mm-mm, no. Maybe. No, no. No, Lauren's still got my yeah. actual book. Which so, is I've amazing. chosen this because a lot of our memories involve food. The cooking of and the eating of and the serving of yeah and this is love hate for me <laughs> <laughs> and it's love love for me because you love him and i hate him no i don't hate, you don't him. hate no, him no no i don't i don't hate don't him tell lies, i Laura. don't hate you jamie <laughs> um no <laughs> um it's yeah no I, I do really like it and i like the book specifically this book but i know that jamie oliver full stop reminds me of a memory of you <laughs> and i picked out some actually i did oh, some did you? thumbing and uh i picked out some that i like that remind me of you mm. best be about to show me the picture of idris elba <laughs> <laughs> i was gonna save it <laughs> yes i love him yes. i just love him yeah he's like the screensaver in my mind if i'm not thinking about anything i'm probably thinking about idris elba you ever catch me on a moment? Idris. Yeah, that's it. Like, Idris. He's just lovely in that picture, isn't he? He's lovely forever. Look at him in that picture! <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. Sorry, Dave. Sorry, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but well, one actual recipe I have. Yeah. Uh, chicken satay. That's lovely. Yeah, that's nice. And also the. Um... Kiev? Yeah. yeah. Kiev. This Amazing. Is a, this is a really good, like, you've really done a good take on this, Laura. I'm really impressed with you. Thank you. Well done. Well, actually, my last two are pretty lame, so. Oh. Well, we'll see. Oh. Oh. Never mind. Okay, so the next one is, what book are you currently reading? For me? Yeah, go okay. through it. All right. Well, the one I'm currently reading, I'm not going to discuss for two reasons. Because it's my recommendation. No. Oh. Uh, no, yes, it is. One, because I've only read one page. I literally stopped oh. it today. And two, because it's the title zone and I think that the people who watch your videos are sick to yeah. death of hearing about the title zone. So I thought I'd... Oh. I thought I would talk about the book I literally just finished, yeah. which is Fates and Furies. Oh God, I'm so excited to read this. Which I've just this is actually your copy. That is my copy. And it's beautiful as well, isn't it? Very I've beautiful. just been listening to um, All the Books, which is a book podcast, which, by the way, you should download. And they were saying that the paperback's just come out in America and they were talking about how wonderful it is. And I cannot wait to read it. It is amazing. Really good. Yeah, it's like life... Mm, not life-changing. It's brilliant. They, they were all saying like they think like someone read it at the end of 2014 or something and they're still thinking about it now. Yeah. You think it's gonna like think you're gonna think about it forever? I think about like this like I think about the goldfinch. Oh really? <laughs> really? For real. Really? Um, and well, you'll have to tell Toby about that because he quite like the to the, the toadfish, <laughs> the goldfinch. You're like that you got to mention it. So. Hey Toby. Hi Toby. <laughs> um, I interestingly had a look on Goodreads last night because I was looking for a book to read and I thought I'll just read some reviews of the book just to see if yeah. I it's a little bit marmite I have to oh, say really? some people do not like her style at all they say it's like uh, there's a lot of BS and there's a lot of like description that you've got to wade through to I get quite to like it. All that though. I know you're gonna love this it's like the descriptions are just amazing and the characters you just yeah, you've They've just got fallen in love with them. names though, haven't they? Yeah, Lotto and, and Matilda. Matilda. And Lotto is short for Lancelot. <laughs> yeah. You'll be like that the whole way through, I think. <laughs> but you'll also love it. But I just gripped. Even I though it's wait. not even though it's not uh, because it, you know, literary fiction it's not something where there's like stuff happening all the time, but even though it doesn't have stuff happening all the time, you're absolutely gripped. I can't wait. Yeah. Have you, are you finished with it? Yeah. Okay, in fact, way. I was so nervous about taking that away with me that I bought it on my Kindle and left oh, that one at home. <laughs> no, why? <laughs> because you were like, make sure you bring this back. I, it's because I was very... And it's I got your little slip in it. I knew me. I wanted to read it so badly. Oh, you silly sausage, you should have taken it. Um, and how did you get on with the shelter as well? Didn't like it. That was going to be my Oh, fuck, sorry. Anyway, I'll talk about what I'm reading next. It's not pressure, uh, is she? <laughs> Not at all. I didn't even think of that. No, oh, and you're gonna watch this, and you've just she's swore. gonna. I've ruined everything. <laughs> uh, the books I'm reading, I'm reading two books at the moment. 
the first book that I've, I've had to do, I'm doing a buddy read of this Chasing the Stars by Mallory Blackman with Eleanor from Eleanor Reads Books I'll link her channel down below the kids um, love Blackman don't they they love Blackman so much and have you read Noughts and Crosses no but every child I've ever taught has it's really really good and I think I went to this thinking oh I love Noughts and Crosses I'm gonna love this I'm like, I mean it's really not taking me long to read it's got really really short chapters it's and so, like, it's really physically big though. yeah I know it's like almost 500 pages this isn't as good as Noughts and Crosses and had I not read Noughts and Crosses I think I would have given up by now but I'm like well I know excuse me that was a burp I know Noughts and Crosses gets better is it um, sci-fi yeah so it's sci-fi it's about um a, a girl called it's told from two perspectives Nathan and V um and it's YA like proper hardcore YA like YA instant love they loved each other from the second they saw each other and V and her brother Aiden have been stuck on this ship. Their whole crew died from a mysterious virus three years ago. Oh, and they've been on already. Yeah, and then so like V and Aiden um, rescue Nathan's and his mum and their family, and her and Nathan have fallen in love with each other. And yeah, but what I'm struggling with is that so V and Nathan are both people who are young. And both their voices sound exactly the same to me. So sometimes I'm reading a chapter and I'm like, well, who's this from, Nathan or V? And to make it even worse, they're told in different fonts. So really, I should definitely know. But I just feel like it's, it's not going to be for me. I will continue. Do you have a rule regards? Well, normally I give it 50 pages. I gave it 50 pages and thought this has, has been okay. But since then, I felt like it's got a bit downhill. Okay. But, I mean, I've read that much since Monday, so it's not going to take me long to read, I don't think. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll carry on. Ellen has finished it already, because she's a superwoman in terms of reading. The other book I'm reading, however, which is another reason I think is why I'm not getting on so well with this, is because this is probably the best book I've read this year. Oh, this is Iceland. Oh my God, it's amazing! So Sarah Moss, who wrote The Tidal Zone, um, What's that? Oh, it's this book. I don't think I've <laughs> mentioned it before. Um, and she, this is when her and her husband and their two children moved to Iceland in 2009. And it's just amazing. It's just like everything I want to know about... Oh, God, bloody hell, that's going to be nice. Everything I want to know about moving to a different oh, country... Oh, it's just so good! <laughs> about moving to a different country is in here. And it, like, compares it to the things that I would want it to be compared to, like... She lived in Canterbury, she's come from Canterbury, so she mentions Canterbury and Whitstable and places that I know in comparison to Iceland and just like the scenery sounds incredible. She's just been to see some woman who actually believes that trolls exist and she's like, look over there by that tree, there's a troll there. <laughs> like, and it's just amazing and I absolutely loved it and I put it on a hiatus to get on with the buddy reader this and this I'm loving, even more than Tidal Zone. I think it's amazing. I'm really, really pleased I've read it. Cool. Yeah, so that's that. So they're the two books I'm reading. Now, you tell me what you're going to recommend me because I think I might have spoiled it. Well, surprise. Yeah. It's very hard recommending a book to Lauren of Lauren and the Books because she's read them all. Uh, so I said I've recommended a book of <laughs> that, I, that I recommended to you. <laughs> but you haven't read it, have you? No. Okay, I, I bought it and I haven't read it yet. Okay, well, it's called Shelter yeah. and it's written by Young. Yeah, and it's amazing. Is this the one now? I've, is this the one where they're do to gonna sell it? their house? Blurb it? Yeah, blurb it. Well, it's about uh, a guy called Kung, uh, who is mm, I'm gonna say 35, wife, kid, um, and lives in a sort of average part of town. And basically, he lives near his parents, who he doesn't have um, a great relationship with. And then something crazy and terrible happens to them. Well, like, I know his mum turns up naked in the garden right. when he's trying to sell his house. Yes. So he and is then... in really bad, like, money times. They aren't, which is the interesting part of the story. They're very well off. Yeah. But he... Yeah, spoiler alert. But yeah, so he's selling his house and then it, the the realtor is like... Um, set in America is like there's a lady over there and she's naked and he's like it's my mum um, oh, we've all dot, been dot, there dot. <laughs> <laughs> we've all been there haven't we uh, yeah so but it was really good yeah the, just the portrayal of the different characters within you've that you've had sort such of... a good reading holiday oh and I finished the and vegetarian. you finished the vegetarian as well and you've just started the title zone you must be riding high I actually am what four wonderful books to read back to back truly oh I can't wait to read this I'm, I'm, I'm going to read. Though. I'm going to reread like the Da Vinci Code after this, just to like <laughs> <laughs> to bring it back down. Angels and demons. <laughs> well, my book that I've recommended you, it's here in a little package for you. <laughs> Isn't it exciting? So 
pretty. It's nicely wrapped, isn't it? Yes. That's a <laughs> that's a um a postcard. No. Yeah. It's got cacti on it. Yeah. And I like this little guy that there was an extra cacti on the back. Thank you. That's all right. What book could it be? I mean, you can't really see through the... Oh, it's the translucency. It's the, really... The translucency of the paper. Oh, you're not... oh I'm excited. I didn't even see what it was. I thought, I was like, it's so obviously there. So this is also... We've yellow. We've talked about this a, a number of times. Yellow, like your hair. <laughs> I listened to this on audiobook earlier this year, The Year of Living Danishly by Helen Russell. And it is very similar to the Iceland book that I'm reading at the moment in that somebody moves to another country and it's comparing to this country and things that you will be familiar with. And like, you're quite into like Scandinavian culture and things anyway, aren't you? Yes. You're going to be all over this. I'm going to just absolutely love it. Yeah, just it's really, really good. Through. And I think you Scandi. will enjoy this even more. So when I was listening to the audiobook, as much as I enjoyed it, the woman who was narrating the audiobook had a slightly annoying voice. So this is just, that that was the only, okay. I, and I still gave it five stars, like I really, really loved despite it. Despite that. Despite the annoying voice. I just think you're going to really, really enjoy that book. Denmark, often thought of as the land of long dark winters, cured herring, Lego and pastries, yeah. is the happiest place on earth. Ooh. I'll go there and, and you go to be, Iceland. Yeah, no, yeah. I'd rather go there because Iceland oh. doesn't sound that great. Like, as much as I'm loving that, I'd much rather live in Denmark than in Iceland. Okay, we'll go together. Yeah, let's go together. Do you want to come, David? No, sorry, it's no room. Only cousins <laughs> Bye. Yeah, I want to go. Oh, fine. Well, that's it. That's another video. That's another video of me having a book chat with someone I know in my real life. David, have we managed to film the whole thing? Is it cut off? Yeah, it cut off 12 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got your present. Did you? Yeah. What? It's not to do with books. Oh. But it is good. I'm excited. Oh, my God! Did it take us to light? Yeah. Oh, my God. It looks amazing. And they're all different. David doesn't like Turkish to light either, so it's purely my present. I this just got back from one. Turkey. They're this all is... different types, but I don't know which is which, so we just have to eat them all. We're going to eat them in a minute. We are definitely going to eat them in a minute. That's so nice. Thank you. Yeah. David, you want one? No, thank you. Shame. No, 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 no. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this. Thanks, Laura, for being here. Have you enjoyed it? Yes, I have. Have you enjoyed it? Do you feel like you're riding high? Yeah, I think so. Good. We're going to go and eat this now and have a cup, another cup of tea, and I'll see you all again soon for another booktube video. Bye!